What is going on everybody? This is Yasser at that and today I'm reviewing The Kite Runner by Khaled Hosseini. The Kite Runner is a story of Afghanistan. It is the story of a young boy growing up in the country. It is sad, it is sometimes brutal. It definitely deserves a trigger warning for some really heavy stuff that happens in there. But it's also a fantastic and touching book in some ways and personally I really enjoyed it. So for this review I'm gonna talk a bit about the story, then give you my likes and dislikes and then my score for the book. So to start with the story. The story is about a boy called Amir who grows up in Kabul with his best friend or in a in a very close relationship with Hassan who is the son of a Hazara servant that his family employs or basically that his father employs because Amir grows up with only a father figure because his mom died when giving birth to him so we see him growing up in Kabul his relationship developing with Hassan, who always faces discrimination because he's a Hazara, and um, the problems that come along with these two very different uh, types of close friends. So one is the discriminated Hazara servant and one is the son of a very important person in Kabul. So yeah, that's quite an interesting first part. The story goes on to tell about the Russian invasion of Afghanistan, of desperate flights of refugees, um, and finally also covers the Taliban rule of Afghanistan, although in a very basic way, I would say. I'm not going to spoil too much, I'm not going to talk about what happens to the main character here, or the main characters. But personally I found the story really cool, so I'm going to go into my likes right now. Um, first thing I liked was that the prose or the writing was beautiful. I really enjoyed it, it wasn't overdone, but I felt like it was actually really a really cool, nice style um, that made me enjoy reading. Always, I always wanted to continue reading um, and I always wanted to find out what was going to happen next or just continue reading about this life that I'm, that I'm reading about. What I also enjoyed is that the book gives a bit of an introduction to the culture of Afghanistan. Although very basic, it does uh, kind of give you a fami familiarity with you know, what is happening there. The book is pretty heavy and even though it is often pretty sad and some very crazy things happen, I always felt like I wanted to continue. So it's not, it's not really scaring you or trying to shock you with brutality too much. Um, yeah. The plot is basically interesting at all times and I always wanted to know what was going to happen next and how, you know, how the situation continues to evolve. But yeah, like to sum it up why I like this book so much is it has some beautiful moments in there and these beautiful moments described in such a beautiful way just really made me enjoy the book. I, I mean that's my probably my main uh, selling point for the book is not only does it offer this unique view of a unique culture and this tragic story, but also um, it's just written so nicely. <laughs> Alright, to go to my dislikes, and I did dislike quite a few things. Uh, I'm going to start with the display of the Taliban. As I said before, the Taliban were displayed in a pretty basic way. I would say this is a bit too basic even. So they are borderline cartoonish evil creatures that don't really seem to have any motivation. So for me that wasn't really you know, that interesting. The main character is also not that likable and he does some very questionable things that, yeah, I mean, it doesn't make it easy to like him, 
So I, I don't even think you're supposed to really like him, although the ending kind of makes me think that, which brings me to the next point that without spoiling anything, I personally didn't like the ending that much. I think the book should have ended a bit earlier. If you've read what I, if you've read the book, you will basically know what I mean. So, um, I think the book should have ended in Pakistan after Sorab was so sad that he has to go to an orphanage. And that doesn't really spoil anything. So here you go. I think that ending would have had a much bigger impact. And yeah. I think if you read the book, then you will realize what, what I mean with this. But yeah, that's it. Uh, maybe a bit short, but overall, I really enjoyed the book. As I said, it's uh, the characters are kind of interesting, even though I didn't like Amir, the main character, that much. I think the other characters were all really well done, um, Then, except for the Taliban. but <laughs> uh, Then I enjoyed the writing so, so, so much. I also enjoyed the plot quite a lot, um, kept things interesting all the time and overall the only thing that really kind of was annoying is that the Taliban were displayed in such a weird way and the ending I guess that's personal preference but for me I think it would have been, I, I think I would have preferred a different ending um, but maybe that would have been way too much too so yeah my overall score was a 9 out of 10 and I think that's really high for this book. I was really wondering if I... It's really hard to quantify, but overall I think the, the beautiful writing and prose just... Uh, yeah, really made this a great book to me. So, if you've read the book and have any opinions, make sure to leave some comments below. Uh, always interested to hear something. And if you liked the video, make sure to drop a like and maybe sub to this channel. And I'll see you in the next video. Till then! Bye.